Welcome back to the Windy City and another episode where us locals eat Chicago. Hope you're hungry because we have five more spots to share with you today. Let's start in a place that we miss so darn much these days, and that's the Maxwell Street Market. And we're going to focus on Ruby's. There are plenty of taco vendors in this market, but Ruby's certainly has earned the heart of the locals. Just check out this line. <laughs> They're sold out. Check it out. Pineapple. They're out. You know why there's no line? Why is there no line? Because they're out of tacos. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Let's hope they have something. Yeah, so what you got there? Quesadilla de flor de calabaza. What is that in Spanish? In English? Uh, Zucchini blossom. Zucchini blossom. Yes. Quesadilla. I have to think about that one. <laughs> Ooh, it's dripping. Dripping. Mm. Good? That cheese is good. It's, it's, what kind of cheese is it? Like Oaxaca cheese? Panela? Panela cheese? Maybe? Well, Oaxaca. somebody knows, yeah. Oaxaca cheese, right? I think it's Oaxaca cheese. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because you can see the, the tortilla for the quesadilla is a little bit thicker. I'm assuming so it holds like the juices better. Especially in this case with the zucchini flour, which is pretty juicy. Even though the tortilla is thicker, you can still taste all the flavors of, of the ingredients that they put inside. So this is really good. I really like it. Alright, so... Uh, this is the one that I'm most excited about because I've been wanting to eat one of these for like the longest time. This is a wheat la coche taco. Wheat la coche is kind of like a fungus that grows on the corn after a certain, I think it's like rainy season. And uh, I've been wanting to try it because it's very unique. And I like mushrooms, so you know, this is kind of a mushroom. And here we go. Mm. I would say it tastes kind of vinegary. Maybe that's the fermentation, or maybe that's how they just prepare it. But uh, the corn gives it a little nice sweetness. But yeah, you can take some of that vin vinegar flavor in there. But I like it. It's very good. You know how we were saying that the quesadilla was using Oaxacan cheese or some kind of Mexican cheese? I asked the guy, like, no man, we're using Wisconsin brick. <laughs> but he was, he's like, it was the best tasting one for the quesadilla they were making. So I was like, yeah, hey, Mexican job. American, right? Like, That's yeah. right. Our next stop is in the Chicago Lawn neighborhood to check out a local gem that's been standing strong for over 40 years. I got the chili, yeah, the chili dog and the mighty dog, which has a tamale and chili on it. When you do come to Chicago, one of the things you have to eat here are the hot dogs. And uh, we came to Fat Johnny's, it's known for their hot dogs. It has one that's really good, and I'm gonna show you a little bit. But right now we're gonna start with the chili dog. I haven't had one of these in years. And... Oh, is that a pickle? <laughs> Cucumber, actually. Yeah. So I'm gonna take that first bite. Mmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the hot dog's like all beef. Has a nice snap. Yeah, this it's just great. Like I didn't, I wasn't too sure about the cucumber, but the cucumber goes really well with celery sauce. It tastes really good. I love this. I actually, buy another one. <laughs> wow. Is it this a mighty? It's a mighty, yeah. It's a tamale. Where's the tamale? Split, split in half. Here, let me turn it around. Oh, I see. Yeah, you see it? <laughs> mm. It's a good stuff. <laughs> like, you get everything in that one bite. Like, you can feel the masa from the tamale. Mm -hmm. Chili, like it's, this is really good. I like it. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it every day, but for a day like today, it's a treat, so it's really good. So yeah, talk about a humble spot that packs on the flavors. These guys know what's up. And speaking of tasty traditions, let's head to the South Austin neighborhood for some true comfort. The food at MacArthur's is ridiculous, and it has quite the following, including no other than President Obama, 
Alicia Keys, and yeah, that's a smiling Kanye. <laughs> Sometimes there can be a line that snakes out the door, but it's so worth the wait. As you're about to be served, they might run out of things, so just order whatever looks good, even if it looks like my plate. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, well, hoping to get catfish, mac and cheese, and I guess a scallop potato. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Catch is with? <laughs> That's a weird combination. Yeah, yeah. Catfish, mashed potatoes, spaghetti, the collard greens. <laughs> good mashed potatoes? Yeah, those are good mashed potatoes. Like, really good mashed potatoes. Hmm. Good, no. Nice seasoning. Nice spiky texture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. Um, Let's see. Give us a little tour. So I got rice and beans. I got ribs. Collard wings too. And cornbread. Cornbread. What are you doing? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Red beans and rice. Mm. Go for them ribs. I should have went with barbecue ribs. <laughs> These are falling off the bone. Mm. Yeah. That sauce is really good. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Off the bone. Go off the bone. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna finish off these plates. We'll see you in a little while. Let's move on to Rogers Park to check out another spot. This time, serving a delicious thin crust pizza since the 1950s. It was looking a bit empty these days, but it's usually a fun hangout spot to enjoy some drinks too. Yeah, so we're waiting for our pizza. We got a meat lovers. I haven't had one of those in like the longest time, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I've heard it's really good here. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> and this seems more like a knife and fork kind of pizza. Because it's on a thin, thin crust. It's a cracker. Yeah, they call so it, a cracker. it might not be able to fold, give it that New York fold. <laughs> you know, I thought the, the crust was going to be more toasted. It's more toasted on the edges. So the crust is nice and soft towards the inside or towards more towards the middle of the pizza. And it's just, it's just good. Meat, sauce, and cheese. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> so this pizza has Italian beef, sausage, and pepperoni. And I'm gonna go for the piece that has Italian beef on it. The sauce is really good. Mm. Behind you, the Blackhawks are winning, so. Yeah, Blackhawks! <laughs> Blackhawks are winning, that makes the slice even better. Yes. Finally, let's head south of the city to South Deering to check out a natural smokehouse on the 95th Street Bridge that has been smoking some classics since the 1940s. All right, so one last spot. We're at Calumet Fisheries and we're gonna be picking up some smoked fish for lunch. The guys were kind enough to let us take a closer look at their smoker, where they put their pieces of brined and seasoned fish, which really added to the experience.
Yeah, so most people when they come to Calumet Fisheries, they usually, well, at least the people that we've seen, just eat it on the trunk of their car, but since it's so cold out, we decided to do it inside in the Kimchi and Beans Mobile Studio. Yeah, it's like 32 degrees, so heck no. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it inside. All right, let's start with the shrimp, smoked, smoked shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. And it's with shell and everything. Yeah, it comes favorite. with shell. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so it kind of smells like bacon, but you're eating shrimp. It does smell like bacon. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. That's good, I can do that. It doesn't need absolutely anything. No. It, and it has right? a real nice smoke flavor. Like real nice. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. I, I can see why a lot of people, uh, they, well at least the people in line were recommending the, the shrimp. Wow, that's mm -hmm. good. Wow. <laughs> it's like a smoke fish ornament. <laughs> Like one of those things for the car, can you imagine? Oh. Like an air freshener thing. Yeah, smoke fish air freshener. Imagine yeah. that in the summer. <laughs> they have the classic, yeah. it's just smoke fish, smoke fish, and this one is pepper and Gar garlic. Yeah, pepper and garlic. Nice. Ooh, it has like a nice smoky, like almost a barbecue kind of like aroma to it. Alright. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. I need some rice. <laughs> This really yeah, I think, I think that would go like really well, like a Japanese style or Asian style fish and rice dish. Oh man, this is so good. This oh, that, that, yeah. perfectly. Yeah, it's really good. I'm so surprised with Naval, like seriously. Yeah, like I, I could see myself like eating like a bowl of rice with some smoked fish and like a, maybe a bowl of miso soup or some other kind of soup. All right, next. And the first basket that I'm gonna pull out is the shrimp dinner. Yeah. I like shrimp, it's a decent size. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Whatever batter they're using in this, that's really good batter. Oh, good stuff. All right. Fish nuggets. I can see the batter is kind of like the, the, the batter they use on the shrimp. It's hot though. Mm. I can see why there was a line, even though it's really cold. Terrific fish. I also want to thank the staff because, um, we were out back and we saw when they were, um, they had the smoked fish and they were like, hey, you want to come and take some video? So they were yeah, nice enough to look. Sweet people. It's just really good food. So if you're down here in Chicago by the south side, go to Calumet Fisheries, have yourself an awesome seafood dinner. Yes. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. And if you're interested in seeing part one of Chicago's Iconic Eats, we're going to leave a link in the description box down below. And, and as, as always, always thank, thank you so, so much for watching, watching and see you in the, the next, next one. one. Bye. I have to say that. <laughs>